My name is Becky Barlow and I'm a forestry extension specialist with the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. And I work with a lot of landowners who are looking for ways to get some additional income off of their property. And one thing that a lot of folks are starting to consider is actually pine straw harvesting. Uh, you may have seen pine straw bundles, bales, either round bales or square bales in your local hardware store or nursery center. And pine straw is something that folks can actually harvest off of their property without a lot of extra trouble or work or actually without a lot of extra expense. Um, pine straw is something that the trees produce naturally. Southern pines like loblolly, longleaf, and slash pine produce these needles every fall. They cast these needles and they form a nice mat on the forest floor. These needles can then be raked up and then bundled into those bales that you see in your local nursery center. So one way that these can actually be harvested as a pretty low cost option for landowners is using a pine straw baler, something like this. Um, there are plans for pine straw balers online. This is one that we actually made out of just two by fours and plywood. So it's really pretty low cost. We made it for somewhere around $100, $150. The way it works is, is that you have um, this plunger and this handle right here that actually comes presses the pine straw down in this box. That's why it's called a box baler. And so what happens is, is you lift up this arm or this lever, and you see the plunger comes up. And the plunger is just you know, two by fours, and this is a, a piece of plywood. Um, you put the straw into this part of the box, and it's then compressed using the, the baler foot. Inside, you can see this is a, a chamber right here where you'll put the straw in, and then you actually have some eyelets down at the bottom that are used to hold the string in place to tie those bales up. You can use lots of different types of twine to bale up your pine straw. Um, a lot of the ones you may see in home centers maybe have the plastic baling twine. I personally like using jute or some other sort of biodegradable twine because then if it gets left out in the woods or if it gets left um, you know, on the landscape somewhere, it's going to eventually degrade. The way you do it is you have actually two nails in the back, two small nails that you'll actually hook the strings to, and then those strings will go down and through threaded next to these eyelets and then out the door, and I'll show you how to do that. Now, one thing a lot of folks ask me is, well, how much string do I need to put in my baler and how do I actually put that string on there? I have to admit, it can be a little confusing at first. What I recommend is that folks take anywhere from two and a half to three yards of twine to start with. And what I usually do is I just pull out two arm's length. So I go one, well, so I go one, two, and then, so that would be my first length of string. Then what you do, once you have your string cut, you make a loop in the end, just fold the string over, and then tie a loop in the end. You'll use this actually to tie off your bale later on. You then take this loop and you hook it onto the nails that are on the back of the baler. So you hook one. I've got another one already cut right here. And I'm going to take this loop and hook it on the other side. So you have two sets of twine hooked into the nails that are on the back of the baler. Then, as you can see, the string is now running down inside of the chamber, and we need to secure it at the base so that it will stay in place while we're packing the pine straw in there. So let's take a look at how you actually secure it down at the bottom. Okay. So when we would secure it down at the bottom, what I've done is, is I took two old pieces of molding that I had just laying around my house um, and screwed them into the base. They don't have to be super heavy duty because you're just looking to hold the string in place. Then I've taken four eyelets and I've put them into the base of the box but up against and adjacent to these pieces of molding. So what you do is you don't run the string through the eyelets but instead between where the eyelet is and or the screw eye is and the piece of molding. So you can see, just pop it down in there like that and then you do the second one this way pop it in like that. So you can see this kind of keeps the string in place while you're packing the pine straw in. What you do next is you're going to run these loose ends through the openings 
on the front of the baler on the door. So you're going to close the door and put the strings through on the corresponding side and then you'll latch the door so it won't come open when you're actually putting the straw into the box. So what you do is, after you've raked up a nice pile, you'll start to take and actually put it into the top of the baler. You just grab it by handfuls and drop it down in the top of the baler, removing any sticks or twigs that you might have along the way. And you just take several rakefuls. And once you get it pretty full, making sure again that your strings are still coming out of the, top, the front, you'll take the lever and you'll actually press down on the straw to compact it. And you can see that the, when the foot goes down, it starts to press down on the straw. compacting it into those nice bales you see. Once you've compacted it once, a lot of times I like to open it back up and put a little more straw in. So we'll take the strings off of the back. Remember the nails we had in the back. Just unhook the loops from the back and put them through this front part of the door. Do it on both sides. And when you pick up on them, they'll, you'll notice that they will start to pop out of those guides that we had at the base of the baler. So now you have your loops and you have your ends. Stick the end through the loop and when you pull up again it's going to pop out of those guides and start to press down, pull the string tight. Same thing on the other side. Then you can use the lever again and the plunger again give it a little more compression and pushing down again tighten up your string with the lever down you can then tie off by just taking the loop looping your string around and making another loop and tying it off in the front same thing on this side Make sure it's nice and tight. Loop it around back behind. Well, that didn't work. Loop it around back behind. And through this loop here. Again, making a pretty tight. It didn't go so well. Then, once you have the strings tied off, you open the door, and you're able to pull out your bale of pine straw. Bales of pine straw sell for anywhere from a few dollars for a square bale like this to close to $10 at, um, again, garden centers, depending on where you live. Bigger cities, they're more expensive, of course, than smaller towns, but you can expect that they would sell, you know, at most garden centers in that range.